So if you're thinking about studying an engineering or some other STEM degree, you may also be wondering exactly how smart do you have to be in order to graduate in one of these fields? Let's get into it. So when you imagine, you know, an engineering or some other STEM student, what kind of person do you imagine? What kind of characteristics do they have? Whatever you're imagining, I think it's safe to assume that that person is pretty smart, right? Engineers are supposed to be smart. They're supposed to be nerds or brainiacs and have super analytical minds. And while I don't totally agree with that stereotype, you know, it's really based in quite a bit of truth, right? Because in order to have success in an engineering degree, you're really gonna have to be able to handle some pretty high level and complex material. The question becomes exactly how smart do you have to be, right? Is there a minimum level of smartness or IQ in order to have success in one of these degrees? Well, let's see what the internet has to say. So it looks like the first thing that pops up is an article from a consulting firm that states that engineers need to be at least one standard deviation in terms of IQ above the average. So that's about 115. And so since we're gonna use IQ as a metric, I'm gonna define it a little bit. So IQ stands for intelligence quotient, and it's a measure of a person's reasoning abilities, mathematical skills, visual spatial reasoning, processing speed and working memory. It's measured on a scale from about 70 all the way to about 140. And if you look at it on a bell curve, the majority of the population scores between 90 and 110. So according to that article, a score of 115 puts you right here, which is basically at the top end of average. So next I found several articles that reference a study that was done out of the University of Wisconsin, where they actually measured the average IQs of folks in 50 different occupations. And according to that study, the average IQ of all the engineering occupations combined came out to be around 120, right? Okay, so let's say the cutoff for an engineer is 115, right? IQ of 115. What happens to all the people over here on the other side of the bell curve? Are they just out of luck? You know, even if they're passionate about engineering, are they just not able to do it? Well, the question then becomes, can you increase your IQ? Well, this would be a pretty terrible video if the answer was no, right? Of course you can increase your IQ. And there are several studies that prove it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. If you are, I really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you're thinking about studying in engineering or any other STEM degree, be sure to check out my book. This book is the step-by-step -step roadmap for anybody to get any degree they want. It's everything that I learned and implemented, you know, to fill that mental gap and go from a 2.0 all the way to a 4.0 and a master's in engineering. Mindset, self-discipline, stress management, time management, lifestyle, studying performance, and of course, exam performance. It's all in here. It's helping out thousands of students all over the world. It's getting a ton of great reviews and it recently hit the bestseller list in several categories on Amazon. And it's starting to get added to university curriculums to help the engineering students be better prepared for what's ahead. So if you're a new student or you're just a current student and you're struggling with your classes a little bit, I guarantee this book will help you. It's available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook. I'll put links in the description for everything. Thanks for the support and back to the video. So according to a study that was done out of the University of Sydney, through consistent mental training and problem solving, study participants were able to increase their IQs by up to 15 points. And then to add to that, it doesn't matter how old you are. According to this study done in 2018, participants increased their IQ by an average of five points for every one year of education, regardless of age. You know, I think there's kind of a common belief out there that once you hit, you know, young adulthood, your brain is just kind of done developing, right? But that's just not true. Your brain consistently has the ability to be, you know, strengthened and sharpened no matter how old you are. And look, I know that IQ isn't everything, right? There are several other factors that are gonna play a pretty major role in your success in school and your career. Things like social intelligence, emotional intelligence, and work ethic. But the main point that I wanted to make with this video is that really anybody can get an engineering or any other STEM degree, it's, right? It's not this degree that's reserved for only the smartest people, right? Whatever your gap is between kind of where you're at now mentally and where you need to be, that gap can be filled no matter who you are. If you struggle with math now, it doesn't mean you'll always struggle, right? If you struggle with physics or, you know, chemistry or whatever it is, all of those things can be improved. So don't waste any time, you know, doubting yourself or questioning your own intelligence, right? Because all of that stuff can be improved. It just comes down to how much you're willing to work on it. Just take me, for example, right? I scored a 17 on the ACT. That's the bottom 35% on that test, right? I never made it past algebra in high school and I failed the college placement exam. You know, when I started, my mental capabilities or my IQ 
was for sure not up to par. But once I really did start to exercise those mental muscles right and really put the time in studying, my brain slowly really did start to strengthen in the areas I needed it to. It became more effective, you know, I was much more analytical. I became sharper and I had way more mental endurance. And just a side note, I actually did a whole video on how kind of the science of this works. It's called neuroplasticity. I'll put a link for that in the description. And so it's important to note that this is not like an overnight thing, right? I spent several years stumbling and failing and, and kind of barely scraping by my classes. But eventually, I got to the point where I pretty much aced all my classes and I could handle anything my school threw at me. And, I, you know, I wasn't the only one. I know several other kids that I went to school with that were just like me, you know, really struggling at the beginning, really kind of barely scraping by in their classes, but, you know, put their head down, grinded, just kind of trusted the process, and then eventually really started seeing good results and made it to graduation. So, to circle back to the question, the title of this video, Are You Smart Enough to Be an Engineer? I think the answer is, everybody has the potential to become an engineer or really anything they want. It really just comes down to how much work you're willing to put in. But that's it for now, so I hope that was helpful to some of you. But until next time, thanks for watching and keep up the good work.